Hey there, comic compadres. This is Mark with Chico's Comics, and I just made my first sale on the Shortboxed app. So thank you for joining us today. Before we get started, if you can give us a like, comment if you've ever bought or sold anything on the Shortboxed app, and uh, feel free to subscribe to the channel if you like the content I'm putting out. Um, so to kind of let you know, uh, I'm a pretty experienced seller on eBay and a variety of other digital marketplaces. Um, I've been a purchaser several times on the Shortbox app, but this is my first official sale. So I'm pretty happy to um, have sold a book on Shortbox. Um, generally, I think the app works great as a uh, buyer. Um, like I said, I've made a few different purchases on the Shortbox app, and I'll show you a couple of things that they've been um, adding on and revising to their app that I think is adding a lot more competitiveness to their um, to their digital marketplace um, but as a seller you know this wasn't a you know huge uh, sale but still a sell regardless um, I am putting funds towards a grail that I'm trying to acquire and so um, to have this book you know kind of uh, leave my current collection and I can get some funds freed up um, I'm happy for it it also has now given me the uh, opportunity to go ahead and, and experience um, the seller's pers perspective on short boxed um, generally uh, the seller fees are better than eBay which I like already you know I sell a lot on eBay and they are uh, fees continue to rise you know I don't know how they're going to continue to justify um, rising seller fees but you know it's been a little disheartening so you know trying to find other marketplaces um, you know as a seller is going to be advantageous um, and you know I'm a, I'm a personal collector I, I like to resell comics um, you know as I free up things in my collection I've been actually trying to refine um, some of my personal collection books so you know uh, as I try to sell my way to another grail um, I am uh, you know trying to find as many different outlets for some of the books that I have um, but this is uh, Uncanny X-Men 172 this is when Wolverine and Yukio get engaged um, the storyline is is kind of hinted on during the uh, Wolverine movie uh, from Sam Mendes I love that movie I'm uh, very excited to know that Hugh Jackman is coming back uh, to reprise Wolverine especially to be opposite Ryan Reynolds so I think that movie is going to be an easy a billion dollar slam dunk for Marvel so well done guys um, but yeah um, I'm gonna go ahead and be packaging this book up I'd like to review a little bit of the short box app as well I'm not sponsored by short box not yet but uh, you know generally as a buyer um, it's been a very uh, well constructed app um, as well as their team you know I, I've uh, exchanged correspondence with um, several of the team members via email and they've all been extremely um, personable um, very easy to talk to address any concerns if there have been any um, as well as just a uh, great communication so you know on that side of it you know I have to applaud a uh, short box for having a good team I hope you guys can keep them there and uh, you know continue to provide a very nice and new digital marketplace okay so let's go ahead and open up the short box app here and so yeah if you haven't used short box um, it is nice so on top we can see that they do have this giveaway they do a monthly giveaway here you can enter once a day uh, last month for September what, or for October was the um, Spider-Man first appearance of Morbius at a CGC 4.0. And so, yeah, it's listing some of the books here on the home screen. I don't think there's a particular theme here, but one of the things I want you guys to check out is that little green dot next to the price. Shortbox recently introduced what they call their fair market value indicator. And so green is indicating what they determine to be a good price depending on recent sales and FMV. Yellow is going to be a premium price and red is going to be a high price for a comic. We'll go into an example there, but you know, it is going to show you the book. This one was a recently a slab book. We can see the QR code in that top corner, but here's NYX3, first appearance of Laura Kinney, X23. It does have the certification number from CGC, um, the publication year, census, page quality, the grade. But this is what I like too. It's also giving you sales data. So not only from the short box app, but it is also including eBay sales, third party auctions, short box best offers and dates. And, uh, you know, comparing these to 
uh, cover price and GPA analysis it looks like they are, you know, fairly comprehensive. So, so I can appreciate that. Um, it's also giving you your census data. Also something I think that's very advantageous as a collector here. Um, you know, recommendations. So we can see here on the X-Men 1 that, uh, that $60 is probably a moderate price. So yeah, when I ended up making my sale, when it, what happened is I received my email. You have an order. My comic is sold. So, you know, after you get your comic posted, you pretty much just let it uh, sit there. You just download your shipping label right here from the email. And, uh, you know, I have one of the thermal printers, so you slap it onto your, your package after you're done and go ahead and ship it on out. Uh, my package is slated to be delivered either today or tomorrow. Um, they have not yet released the funds, so I'm curious to see how long they hold the funds before um, or after my uh, package is delivered there. Um, these are my active books. And so similar with eBay, how people will start to watch your items, individuals on Shortbox can favor your items. So, you know, my Marvel Superhero Secret Wars issue 8. I have four people watching, so if I did want to send an offer to them, I can send a personalized offer. You know, it's going to be active for 48 hours. And yeah, this is a beautiful book. I'm tempted to send this back to try to get that 9.8 because this book was just flawless the colors here are so vivid and prominent really dark deep red orange here and i got the custom label white pages i'm very happy with this one so yeah previous sales data i did try to price this one accordingly i did go on the higher end um you know because of the custom label and i do feel like this is a candidate for a potential grade bump but i have that price there still giving me the um you know good price indicator here um, but overall, I'm pretty pleased with the uh, short boxed app so far. Like I said, I've made a few purchases on the app, and it's worked very well as a as a buyer. And so, going for my first sale, I'm very curious to see how uh, you know the whole selling process works here. Um, you know, for 10 percent fees, that's definitely being more competitive than eBay right now. I think as they continue to develop a market base, um, I'm really excited to see you know how this uh, app and this digital marketplace tracks over the next couple of years. Um, even over the next six months or so. So yeah, if you're curious about the Shortbox app, you know, I, I have iPhone, so I downloaded it straight, um, free app. Um, the bugs are getting fixed continuously. So, you know, it's a lot of good, uh, a lot of good options here. You know, I, some of my recent searches, you know, I was looking at that GL87. Let's take a peek here. So yeah, we can see the different colored icons, that fair market value indicator at work. Let's say I wanted to favorite this, uh, ooh, 9.8. Very nice. Yeah, hey, that's a good book. That's a, ooh, that's a big price. But that's a very nice book, white pages there. Yeah, we know John Stewart is coming. But yeah, we can see a year ago, this was only selling for about 9,000. So yeah, 20,000 is probably quite a premium, but we'll see. Um, so okay, guys, thank you for jumping in today. Appreciate you checking it out. Hope to see you soon, comic compadres. Give us a like, a follow, a subscribe, and drop us a comment if you bought or sold anything on Shortboxed.